everybody. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. So, this could be our final visit to Brittle Hollow. I mean, for a while at least. It, it, we're obviously going to be returning there at some point in the future, but for now, I think this might be the last time that we're visiting the place for uh, a little while. So, let's make the most of it. So, guys, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Thank you very, very much for all of the comments that you're leaving along the way. Uh, it's brilliant to hear that you out there, much like I, are bloody loving this game. Because <laughs> it's excellent. I really do like it. Um, I'm going to sidestep here, because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to annoy our fiery friend there. So, let's get searching on this here planet for that weird ship-shaped thing that's kind of just chilling out on the surface. Uh, yeah, whilst I'm on the way uh, to finding that, uh, I want to also give a shout out to Rakoff, who had uh, mentioned something quite interesting, um, saying quite rightly, something that I didn't pick up on, that the Nomai seem to almost revere their technology and kind of... they kind of refer to it almost like it's a living being. Aha! That's where I want to go. Like it's a living being. Um, for example, they said that they... Uh, they wanted to ask the uh, discombobulated space pickle to essentially not discombobulate itself, um, which was futile, sadly, uh, eventually. But uh, yeah, ask it politely. Um, and also, they mentioned that the warp core on the vessel that we're going to be investigating at some point or other was lethally injured. Well, you wouldn't necessarily say that a piece of technology was injured normally, would you? Um, so... This is the thing that uh, I'm trying to investigate. So, where's the way in? Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for pointing that out, Rakoth. Uh, also, uh, Erythra Terra uh, mentioned that the infinity sign that uh, we found in the school district is called a Mobius and could be a little bit of a nod to Mobius Digital, the designers and uh, and producers of this game, which is a, a, a very uh, a very nice little nod. Uh, thank you very much for pointing that out. Much appreciated. There's a silver thing there. Right, I should probably stop dicking about and actually land at some point, shouldn't I? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to get swatted out of the sky by one of those. God, that was close. No, oh, I do not appreciate that. Right, I'm going to land here, which is where I considered landing before and then kind of didn't. And then, well, I did, but then I, I plummeted straight through one of these little wooden uh, bridges, which was less than elegant. Mm, hop. Yay. Okay. Let's leave it there. Grab a suit. Out. Right. So this is take two for the whole looking at the spaceship thing. I'm I'm a lot I'm a hell of a lot lower ten than I thought I was gonna be. Maybe I should have parts up there. Wait, hold on. Right, quick test. Oh we can make that. That's all right. Right, wait for the bar to refill, and... Yeah, we're good. Ish. Oh, whoa. Yeah, we're good. Hollow's Lantern, on the other hand, is uh, somewhat not good. So, what the hell is this thing? So, I mentioned before, didn't I, that um, we can get a really good look at the twins, and... Oh, I, I, I thought, for some reason, I thought that was the quantum moon. That's the quantum moon. Wait. That's... Oh. Wait, hold on. Unidentified. What the hell? I've... I don't know how I've picked this up, but I've somehow managed to get access to scan a different frequency. That's Outer Wilds Ventures. That's what I was expecting to hear. Good God, look at that. You can see right the way through ember that's not an equator that's a that's a whole gash right through the middle of it this is quantum fluctuations oh yeah thanks for that oh. no not you what's this right there's one oh wait hold on there's another wait no there's another one there's another one here Wait, 29 meters? This? <laughs> Hold on. Is it this thing? It is this thing. What is that? A skate pod? <gasps> oh! 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 
Oh my god, this is a piece of history right here. I've just realized what this is. This is one of the two escape pods. Oh, I can actually hear this thing chirping. Right? One of two escape pods that the Nomai used to flee the vessel when they first arrived in this solar system. This is how they fled um, Dark Bramble. Oh my god. And yeah, that makes sense because we, we learned before that the other concentration of Nomai that were separated were on uh, Ember, the Ember Twin. Oh my days. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Is everyone unharmed? Yeah, no one. Oh, what voice was Plume now? I swear I need to make notes of these. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget some voices along the way. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. Uh, this is good news, at least. Have we heard from Escape Pod Two or Escape Pod Three? Wait, three? There were three pods. No, I, I I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it fits any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. Oh no. Distress beacon one, escape pod one. Right. Oh, there was the quantum moon there. Oh no. Oh no. Pod three didn't make it off Dark Bramble. Either that or that distress beacon is coming from the vessel, but I. I tend to feel that's probably the other escape pod. <gasps> oh no. Which opens two questions. All right, that one's listed as unknown because we haven't actually been there yet. That opens up a couple of questions. Um, is the pod on, that's on Dark Bramble still intact? And could there possibly still be Nomai on there? If the pod never made it to... I mean, I'm jumping to conclusions here, thinking there might be some sort of, like, cryostasis or something on this thing, but if the pod never made it to where it was meant to go, maybe it never finished whatever process it was going through? Okay. Let's carry on. Um, if there's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. Okay. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has arrived. Oh, the volcanic moon. That's got to be uh, Hollow's Lantern. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I I believe the moon has passed. The moon doesn't appear eager to have guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. Oh, we only started throwing rocks because Nomai were here? We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Wait, did I skip two pages? No. I observe several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. <gasps> oh, so that's the bridges. That makes sense. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Right, I know where I'm going next. Wee! Perfect landing. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. So I was kind of right. This is a Nomai vessel of sorts, but it's an escape. <gasps> Cryostasis. <gasps> Look at the number of tubes. Whoa. Oh my days. This is cryo. <gasps> Look at them. <gasps> what is that? Oh man. <laughs> I'm getting serious Mass Effect marker vibes off of this. I'm not sure I like it. Look how many cryopods there are. Again, I'm jumping to conclusions that they're cryopods, but they're cryopods, come on. <laughs> um, what's down here? Oh, there's a marking here. Ah, and a, and a, one of those ball unlock things. So I, I want to head up. Ow, ow. ow. <laughs> there is such a thing. Ow. There is such a thing as being too eager. <laughs> right. What is this? Launching escape pod three. Launching escape pod two. Now launching escape pod one. Oh, wait, hold on. It reached top to bottom. Okay. Begin flight log. Escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally injured. There it is again. Good call, Rakoff. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launching pod three, two, one. Alert. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instability is detected. Minor. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> this really was a different place back then, wasn't it? Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict? Hospitable. So this really was just a bound in, pick a pod and kiss your ass goodbye sort of pod, wasn't it? Which I suppose is the best sort of escape pod. You don't want to have to be fiddling around with controls when you're in an emergency. So what is this? Emergency escape hatch. Is this just going to blast off? Yes! Yes, it is! Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm guessing that means that the gnome I chose to go up and not down. Oh, that's a point as well. Looking down into the inky black as the uh, the hatch disappears. Uh, I realised I'd missed something previously. Um, specifically that... Is that going to dislodge that? No, I think we're good. Um, do I trust these platforms? <laughs> uh, specifically that teleporters are only one way. I was a bit perplexed why I couldn't go back through the white moon. Um, right, I'll, I'll try this platform, but I'll, I'll prepare the jetpack just in case it gives away again. Oh no, it's good. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. This is all fine. Um, that's not... <laughs> okay. Looks like some are okay. And... Others most assuredly are not. Huh. Right, looks like we might have a break on trail of writing here. Uh, yeah, so um, I picked up that obviously the black hole is being harvested for its transmitting properties, but white hole is the receiver and the little teleport pads that are in sort of the, the teleportation towers and on planets, the white ones receive and the black ones transmit. Um, utterly inconsequential, but I thought I'd point it out anyway. <laughs> Just to show that I'm paying attention. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Of course, I suppose they didn't have... Oh, that's another thing I wanted to bring up as well. Spacesuits. The Nomai don't wear spacesuits. It's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> um, where am I going from here? Hold on, I've run out of platforms. Do I just go down there? I just want to basically see if... Um... If these things lead anywhere, or if it just sort of mingles back into the crossroads or something. Oh. Oh, wait. Where is this taking me? <gasps> oh, I wonder if this is like their first settlement. Is this this clan's first... Settling... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, really? That annoyed me. As if I didn't dislike you enough already, Hollow's Lantern. You filth. What have we got here? Um, of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. Yeah, this was the first settlement. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Yes, I'll bear that in mind. Thanks, Bloom. So hold on, this has got... Oh, wow! Where does this go? Oh, I spotted this. It's, that's the double row of gravity crystals, isn't it? Right. Uh, I'm going to... Because I'm, I'm worried that it's going to rapidly disappear. I'm going to explore this little... <gasps> Hello. Explore this settlement first. I think I found a thing. I think there's a thing to be found, and I think I might have found it. Oh, there's things. There's things and stuff. <gasps> well. <gasps> what? Is that the vessel? Whoa. Oh, is this like... Oh my gosh, this is a timeline. So they were traveling... They were traveling the galaxy in the vessel. And they received the call. They heard the call of the Eye of the Universe. They traveled to the, uh, to the system and got caught in dark bramble. <gasps> and there we go. That's the three escape pods. That's the three escape pods. Two of them escaped to Ember Twin and to uh, Brittle Hollow, but one of them's still trapped. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is accessible. This is accessible by a walkway lower down. Okay. Nice. Wait, where's my ship going? Where are you going? <laughs> Hold on. Where are you going? Okay, fine. See you later then. Loser ship taking off into space. I'm where the real stuff's going on. <laughs> this knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at its centre, much like a pupil. I suppose the signal was looking for something. 
The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. That's been mentioned a couple of times now, hasn't it? I feel like I'm missing a voice for Plume. I feel like I came up with a unique voice for Plume and I'm missing it. <laughs> Be sure to shout at me in the comments. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Wait a minute, wasn't Plume... No, I don't know who Plume was. Imagine what rare and profound knowledge I might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. So they kind of talk themselves into revering this eye of the universe, whatever the hell it is, and made it their, their what, their life's goal to track it down? Uh, now, ah, there we go. There's some platforms beneath. Okay, this one feels safe-ish to walk on, I think. Oh, if we hit the end of the loop whilst we're here, then I'm going to take everything back about this being the final visit to uh, Brittle Hollow, because there's no way we're going to let this slide. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Oxygen. Oh, poo. Um, are there any trees? <laughs> I could do with a tree! Oh, hold on. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. My brother wasn't in escape pod one with us. Was he in pod two or pod three? Was he able to board an escape pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. <gasps> oh, they were angry. They were angry at, at this solar system. Presumably also at the uh, the eye and the dark bramble. Right, nice little refill. Let's pop back over here again. And... Yep. What have we here? I'm trying to explore this as rapidly as possible because... Oh, hello. I'd like to see if I can get this all in one loop. Uh, Kusa. Okay, we can hear the other escape pod's distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. Oh, bless. So many were separated. I'm g oh, God. Well, great. I think that might have been more of the, the village, but... Okay, at least that place with the, um... With the signs hasn't gone anywhere yet. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. So it must be Pod 3 that's still on Dark Bramble. Was the vessel unwell in some way? Again, with that talk. No, Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Well, well, well. Um, <laughs> no pun intended. So yeah, pods... Pods 1 and 2 made it out. 3 is still in there with the vessel. Hmm. Right, where else can I actually explore before this whole place disappears? Uh... Right, I'd like to see if I can get back up to... Oh, that's not... Jesus. <laughs> that's not the control that I thought it was. How do I keep completely losing all concepts of how to control this game? Like, in the middle of successfully navigating places. Um, We want to be up one more floor, I think, don't we? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that's me. Oh! Whoa. That was close. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I thought I'd done a good. Hold on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> done it again. Amazing. <laughs> right, Vic. Hello. <laughs> oh, have I got some stuff to tell you? <laughs> you launched. That's great. Good job, you. Well, I guess that means you've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brutal Hollow. You probably knew that. Funnily enough, I did. A lot of history here. Uh, well, yeah, um, yeah, I'm kind of in a hurry. Ah, uh, I'm sure, of course, uh, anything you want. I learned something. Oh, cool. 
What is it? <laughs> well, how long you got? I found a Nomai escape pod. Wow. So then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Um, yes, I learned something. Uh, I saw an old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Half. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite, quite a nice thing. Uh, I learned something. I saw the Hanging City. Oh, this is going to make him jealous. You visited the Hanging City? Oh, gosh, how was it? W was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it... Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that thing makes sense to the Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the the black hole for something. They did indeed. You're onto something there. Um, I found Nomai writing about a quantum pilgrimage. A pilgrimage to the quantum moon? Well, the Nomai mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of their writing, so it was clearly special to them. And, uh... Especially enough to make a trip there by themselves. It sounds like a coming-of-age ritual. <laughs> Funnily enough, that's how I see this whole thing. Like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. <laughs> that's how you gauge the step into adulthood. Okay. Maybe once a Nomai journey to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult? Okay. Uh, I think that was it, wasn't it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, never mind. Okay. If you find something new, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure we will. Right. I'm stuck now. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of slightly screwed because I think all of the old settlement is gone. And I, quite frankly, wouldn't have a clue where, how to reach it from here. So, maybe it's time we, uh, oh, hold on. I think I found my ship. <laughs> uh, I think maybe, can I sort of... Uh, so, wait, hold on. Why, why is my ship... My, sh my ship is on Giant's Deep. That's confusing. Oh, no, it isn't. Is it? Yes, my ship has crashed into Giant's Deep. How did that happen? Right, um, I'll find a way to uh, artificially end the... Hold on. Oh, <laughs> nearly made it a third time. Artificially end this loop, and then we'll go and investigate the old village properly. Okay, so, uh, starting what may possibly be, um, one of <laughs> the last times <laughs> we land on Brittle Hollow, who knows now? Um, look at the huge skid mark before it nearly toppled into this ravine. Good grief. Uh, so I wonder... <laughs> I wonder how silly, how silly an idea this might be. Uh, very, I'd imagine. Let's see if we can't... Uh, gently! Oh, God. Feed the ship through. Did I just knock out a load of bridges? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Was there actually anywhere... Anywhere around here that would make a viable landing spot? I don't think there was, actually, now that I'm down here. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. E e no. <laughs> no. Stupid idea. Silly boy. Right, let's uh let's just abandon that idea. Head back on out. If I can squeeze through. Big if. Uh, <laughs> up here? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Uh, yeah! Oh, thrust! There we go. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Let's just uh, let's take the more traditional approach of actually landing on land. Going from there. So, little do. Let's park it here. Perfect. Ish. I still didn't sustain any damage. I don't know how I managed to get away with that. So, uh, where am I? Here we go. So, let's edge down to uh, there, first of all. There we go. 
through, down. Here we go. The village is looking much more complete. Yeah, I like that. That was the place that descended, wasn't it? Uh, that we didn't get a chance to take a look at. The annoying thing is that these, even though we retain our memories, the actual know my writings don't seem to uh, retain their state, which means that we don't immediately see which ones we've read and which ones we haven't. Oh, look out! Look out below! Look out for the gravity hole! For should you slip and lose your grip, then into space you'll go! Oh, you're talking about the black hole. Okay. I thought you meant this. <laughs> uh, right, I do want to take a little look down there, but uh, I'm aware that there's a building here as well. Oh, God. Well, okay. <laughs> Nearly ran out of pack boost then. That was hairy. Uh, anything? Okay. I don't think... I don't think there was anything of interest there. Now, it's a little bit difficult to tell where I've been and where I haven't, because half of the buildings that I have been to may have vanished. Uh, this is new. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost, or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Mallory. Oh, of course, because they're split in three directions, or technically two directions and one static escape pod. Um... I guess they've no way of knowing which of the other third of their population is, is a bit in the big one, I guess. Um, right, so I came from up there, didn't I? That was the... Uh, no! Oh god, I did a bad. Oh no! I, can't, I don't understand what's going on in my brain. I keep on somehow forgetting... Yeah! Hi, Ryback! <laughs> Bye, Ryback. <laughs> I keep on somehow forgetting the controls. How do I do that? How is that even a possibility? Oh, God. Okay. Right. Let's, uh... Hmm. I'll make my way up to the Gravity Crystal um, Laboratory, which I think was around... Wait, was it around here? Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to get up to the... Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, up to the uh, Gravity Crystal Laboratoire. And from there, I will uh, hop, skip, and jump over the surface and then come back down the right way again. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that was really cool. I think I just mastered how to... Uh, how to pretty much glide indefinitely using your jetpack. I mean, I say indefinitely. Uh, at least until you run out of jetpack fuel. Which is... <laughs> which is not ideal. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I took a wrong turn and somehow managed to end up back at the gravity cannon instead of the... Um, uh, instead of where I thought I was going. But is this going to collapse? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Then we need to head down... Wait, where was it next? <laughs> here. Here we go. Okay. Probably... Ah! Jesus, nearly went off the edge. Huh. Ah, here we go. This is the area where I'd, uh, I'd started to explore because it disappeared last time. I'm going to disappear down here before it vanishes. Oh, wait. Is there anything? Is there not... There's nothing here. <laughs> There's not actually anything here to see. Rubbish. Oh, this comes back to here, but of course that wasn't there. Okay, yeah, I see where we are. Um, so yeah, again, like I said, it's so tricky to try and work out where I've explored and where I haven't because I don't know what was in place and what wasn't and what had moved. I've been up there. Yeah, I've been up there. I think I've been up there. <laughs> uh, I have. Okay. Hmm. Um, I think it may nearly be time to move on from this place because I think I have... Co oh, no! I haven't covered the path, have I? Right, well, that'll be my objective then. Let's go and cover the Grav Crystal path. Um, I think because this place is just so... so fluid... Because of everything... Uh, sort of slowly being destroyed by Hollow's Lantern. 
I may... Wait, I don't think I've been there. I don't think I've been to the slanty building. Yeah, I don't recognise that. But after I've been here, I may just go and take that grav crystal path and then maybe move on from this area. Uh... Oh. Well, that's different. Uh-oh. That was close. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing's moving. <laughs> We're good for now. Oh, hello. Right. Uh, yes, we've been here. Okay, I'm going to head back up. Ah! Like I say, it makes this place really difficult to explore. Um, if... If uh, anybody knows that I've missed anything major around here by not sort of exploring um, a hidden room or something that is pretty major to the plot, pop a comment down below and I'll revisit. But for now, I'm going to move on. Um... Yes, we've been in that room. I think I probably picked up all the major points. Um, so onwards to this gravity path. So what is this? Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? I wonder if this leads to the city. We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. Yeah, this is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. <laughs> but I just said that. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? The building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. So... This is leading to where they moved to on the North Pole. Now, I'm... I'm... Whoa, hold on. Where am I going? I'm trying to think here. The Glacial North... Wait, this looks wrong. This looks wrong. I don't like this. Can I... Can I make it to this one? Please don't drop. Okay, we're good. Um... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, I don't like that either. Uh, please don't drop me. Please don't drop me. Sure, uh, okay. These crystals just feel too far apart. I don't like this. They just feel way too far apart for my liking. Is there any... There are no branches here, are there? Nothing that's here to trick me and... Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I too late? I think I'm too late. Oh, God. Can I... God, I don't like this. I'm not going to like this. I'm going to go off the edge and see if I can jet over to the next ones. This is probably going to go catastrophically wrong. Ah! Oh no, I used up all my jet. Oh, rubbish. Well, might as well faceplant. <laughs> oh, it didn't do the job. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure uh, faceplanting suddenly into the teleport station teleportation station will probably finish the task for me, even if uh, <coughs> it's less than graceful. Right, I'll come back and I'll make a beeline for that track. Right, let's give this another spin. So, hopefully I should be able to just race straight across without worries of um, falling off the ceiling due to the spacing of the crystals, because I now know that they're actually spaced properly. And that looks like a much safer road up ahead. So, uh, oh. Wait. Hold on. Where is this actually leading to? What is that? Wait, what is that? Do I know what that is? Is that... That's not the city. Whoa! Uh oh Oh no, not again! Okay. <laughs> Need to stop sightseeing. Get on with moving. <laughs> For the lantern is displeased with my progress. Um, what is that? Right, is so this does look like a glacier. Is this something that I've managed to just completely miss up until now? Is there a glacier city? Or is this just the hanging city that we're perfectly aware of and I've managed to completely miss that it's hanging off of a glacier? Uh <laughs> please, sir. 
Oh, there we go. Can I have some more gravity crystals? Okay. Better. I'm... I'm really baffled. This has got to be the city, right? Because if this turns out to be a completely different settlement that I just completely glossed over... Right, this is looking familiar. This is looking familiar. This is the city. Right. Very cool. So... Ba-boop! Excellent! I just managed to completely miss that trail of gravity crystals last time. Yeah. So we're back at the city. So this was the permanent settlement that they set up. Oh, Trey, cool. Very nice. Right, so... Um, I'm stuck again, aren't I? <laughs> I think... I, I know this is this is getting a little bit ridiculous now, but I, I think I might just pay another visit to... In fact, hold on. Can I, can I do it here? I can do it there. <laughs> there we go. That settles that little problem. Uh, let's hop in the ship then. I think I'm well and truly ready to draw a line under Brittle Hollow for now. Obviously, we're going to be visiting there again at some point. Because we still haven't... Still haven't managed to access... <gasps> the eye shrine we didn't manage to access the southern observatory at all and i think there were probably one or two other locations that we're, we're still yet to take a good look at so let's head into the ship let's review our rumor board so okay that's completed the tower of quantum knowledge entry the hanging city has a separate entry in the black hole forge the vessel Anglerfish fossil. Why are they in red? I don't like that. Escape pod one. The old settlement. The mural. The escape pod. And escape pod three. Okay, so one the one that's just labeled escape pod must be the one on um must be the one on Ember Twin, I would guess. Because we haven't been there to verify its actual name. So let's start from over here. So what's been added to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge entry? everything by the looks of it. I thought we already had this. Okay, the Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. That, that's confusing as well, because we always arrive at the south pole. So <laughs> how do we how do we get to the north pole to turn our back on the shrine long enough for it to move? Hmm. The pilgrimage to the, uh, the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. Okay. I wonder how they actually advanced to that stage where they could reunite. The sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. That's right. Okay, that makes sense. We've been to the quantum moon. We've been to the shrine. And the quantum moon didn't move. So we were in the quantum shrine and there was an indicator on the wall as to the current location of the quantum moon. Much like there was on the, in the top of the tower of the quantum knowledge when we eventually managed to float in there. So. Oh, hold on. The gravity cannon... Wait, one, two, three. Okay, no, these aren't locations, they're just topics. Okay, um, yeah, and it wasn't moving whilst we were on the South Pole, so perhaps only when we and the Shrine are on the North Pole will the, the moon actually move whilst we're walking on it. Hmm. Hmm. So, Ash Twin Project, what do we know here? Uh, an advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Yes, we learned that, didn't we? But it was approved... But it wasn't approved, it wasn't completely approved for use. It might not even have been ready for it. The Black Hole Forge. A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. Okay, cool. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the sixth warp receivers 
The six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. Right, okay, so, yeah, we've we've encountered several of them. I've, it occurred to me as well that one of those warp receivers was on the ceiling of um, the city, wasn't it? In Brittle Hollow. That's probably how we were meant to get there, but <laughs> who wants to do things conventionally? A gnome named Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Okay. Ah, the alignment angle diagram. Nice that we got an entry for this. A diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. A warp, warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body's center. This results in slightly longer warp windows than la that last roughly several seconds. Anyone stepping into the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. What do I feel like that's some sort of hint that's going to come in handy later on? The Hanging City. A Noai city suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. If only I'd actually read this, I'd have, I'd have figured it all out. The city is divided vertically into four districts. I found a switch in the Meltwater district that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. The gnome I debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. The gnome I travelled to this solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. The Old Settlement! The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai... I've oh, just realised orange text just disappeared off the bottom of the screen. I know what that means. <laughs> they worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while ab uh, aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned this settlement over growing concerns about its stability. There's more to explore here. I had a funny feeling that might have been the case. Nuts. Okay, so I did miss something there, right? Fine. Okay, a mural of three escape pods uh, evacuating the Nomai vessel. A mural of dark bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. Okay, these escape pods then. One of the three no, uh, Nomai escape pods landed somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. We're going to go and find that very soon, I think. Escape pod three. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of dark bramble. And the one that we've been on... Uh, all three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. Onto the Vessel. The Nomai warped to this solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the Eye of the Universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble, and the Vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Of course it did, I forgot about that. I wonder if that is what the glow is in the centre of Dark Bramble. There's like a a hole with a, an eerie, misty white glow pouring out of it, isn't there? That'll be worth investigating. Oh, missed something here. What have we got? Ash Twin Tower Designs. There are tower designs in the high energy lab that reveal each warp receiver's location. Oh, excellent. Okay. That might come in handy. I think we've found... we found a number of them already, haven't we? In fact, talking of which, there's one. The Northern Glacier, yeah. Oh... Wait. Why is that linked with the quantum moon? Northern part of Brittle Hollow, Snow and Ice, a uh, unique shape, no more ruin. Uh, no more able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Okay. That's where they first recreated it. Okay, well, that makes sense that it's, a, it's an isolated station and the rest were built somewhere else. The Southern Observatory. Ooh, what's new? Hello. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. Yeah, we found that, didn't we? Um, I think... Oh no. Last one, I think. Anglerfish fossil. The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least, by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on Ember Twin. Now. <laughs> that anglerfish that we saw way back in the observatory on Tibbahath looked nasty, bit ugly, had butt teeth, which was kind of strange, but okay, whatever. But it wasn't that big. I don't know how much of a threat that thing might actually pose to anybody which leads me to believe maybe that was a baby <laughs> i got a funny feeling the anglerfish that are out there are going to be a lot bigger and a lot nastier uh and i'm not gonna like it so let's see if i can just recall um what we've seen so far in terms of those teleport locations so there's six teleport locations out there we know there's one on timber hearth next to the uh, the ruins where you come out from where that bridge and the big arrowhead statue thing is. Uh, was there one on the Atoll Rock? I think there... Oh, I don't recall, actually. I don't know if there was one on the Atoll Rock. We've landed multiple times on the one on Brittle Hollow. The one on Giant's Deep is, uh, I think, at the top of... I want to say it's at the top of Gabbro's Island? 
or maybe it was across the way on Statue Island. Gabros, I think. Uh, so that's one, two, three. Oh, maybe we haven't found very many. There's... I'm guessing there isn't one on the Hourglass Twins because most of the warp towers are there. Good God, we don't know where any of them are, do we? <laughs> I really haven't seen that many. Okay. Well, I think I can now with some confidence say that we're done with Brittle Hollow. Uh, next time, I'm going to go a little bit closer towards the centre of the system and... Uh, Visit somewhere a tad warmer, but until next time, thank you so, so much for joining me. I've just, oh my gosh, I've just realised there's a supply of marshmallows and a stick. It's hard things really to think of everything. Uh, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those in the usual spot and uh, head on over to the Discord as well. It'd be great to see you there. Link's down in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.